The venue on this night was held inside the Tampa International Airport. All right, tonight we're at the Tampa Airport Marriott for the first annual Cops Blue Hope Gala. This evening, it's about remembering heroes. Here's my story. Over 200 people came together to help make a difference for the West Central Florida Concerns of Police Survivors, also known as COPS. Since 2004, they have worked with agencies throughout the Tampa Bay area to offer emotional and financial support to families and coworkers of law enforcement officers who died in the line of duty. There was such great anticipation for tonight's inaugural gala, which was all about helping survivors rebuild their shattered lives. I am just beyond amazed. I didn't even know what to expect when I started this. You know, my goal was to, even, was to hit 100 people attending and I doubled that goal. And, um, you know, just seeing the support, it wasn't easy in finding sponsors, you know, when it's your first one. A lot of people, you know, don't want to take that chance, but I, I can't even tell you how much it means to me for the, the, the support that we have tonight, taking that first chance. Without stuff like this, you can't heal. I'm totally convinced that this is the things, these are the things that bring us to not just awareness for, but when you're, when you're showing people and they're becoming more aware of what's going on in your life, they just want to come around and, and hold on to you. So it's, it's a win-win, it's a, it's a really. The Tampa Bay community is coming out and supporting law enforcement. A lot of people who are not in law enforcement don't realize what the job is and how hard it is and how little support they get from the community. So when the community does rise up and support them, it is very meaningful. One of tonight's key sponsors was Fox 13 who also had one of their news anchors serve as tonight's MC, And many others from Fox 13 came out too, all to support the cause. I think this is a really big step in making sure that our community understands that this organization exists so that unfortunately, when we have a police officer death, that's not the only time that people step up and say, what can we do? Let's do something year round because our, our police are there for us year round. These are lives we're talking about all the time, every day. And just because the story ends where we report it doesn't mean that, that the story ends for them. And so the, the courage and the heroism and the bravery that they exhibit when they go through those days and weeks after. And if we're lucky enough, we get to catch back up with them and see how they're doing. And that's the gift for us. But for our law enforcement community, for us, any chance to be there for them is, is an honor. Another well-known media personality was on hand to help with today's fundraising auction. For him, this event was very personal. As a television reporter, I covered a lot of these tragedies where an officer lost his life in the line of duty. It touched me so deeply that I just had to take part in this. When they asked me, I was actually honored to be here because I knew some of the officers personally. They were my friends, they were my colleagues, and when they died in the line of duty, a bit of me died. So to come back here and to raise money for future victims, it's, it's the least I could do here. Now this incredible gala couldn't have happened without the great support of sponsors. I had a chance to talk with a few of them during the course of the evening. That is so important because we've uh, stepped in to help um, some of the fallen officers' families. And you see there are a lot of groups that are supposed to help, and they do help, but in certain different ways. And there's a lot of needs that they have that fall through the cracks. So the more organizations like this from people like Lorraine who really know what it's like, the better. We're just honored to be part of it. I mean, we, we just can't imagine every day that uh, our law enforcement goes out to work uh, puts on that, that uniform and goes out and, 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 the, and the family stays home and wonders if they're coming home that night. And uh, our hats goes off to them. Uh, we're, we're very honored that we can, we can help and, and hopefully when they go out, they come home. When I was growing up, a policeman being shot was really an unusual event. Today you hear about it every day. It's just a crazy world and they need as much support and the families do as we can possibly give them it's just a dangerous world. What's happening today, especially with all the police officers being slain, you know, how it affects everybody is pretty, you know, I mean, to support an organization like this is so important. Tonight's powerful performances included a national recording artist, the amazing Dave Bray USA.
It's a somber event. It is, it is a, a memorial event, but it's nice to see people healing by coming together. And I think that's the most important part. It's one of the things that concerns the police survivors is doing so well around the country. Uh, the West Central Florida chapter, which is who we're here with tonight, of course, of Concerns of Police Survivors has, has just done an amazing job. This is their first gala and their first fundraiser. I'm just honored to be a part of the, the groundbreaking. And also featured a keynote speaker who specializes in law enforcement trauma, Dr. Tina Jekyll. It's important to me because I've worked as a mental health professional in this field for over 23 years, working with law enforcement, first responders and their families, particularly survivors. So it's a blessing and a gift to me to be here. There were a few legislators as well as many supporters who came out to back the importance of tonight's event. It's a very important night and it's great to see an event like this take place. It's such a worthy cause. Um, so many families are hurting um, when they lose their loved ones and the line of service um, to protect us. And so the least we can do is support events like this to make sure that the family members are well taken care of. It's so important that people come out here and support this wonderful effort by cops. This is an organization to support the families who have given everything because their, their loved ones uh, gave everything in service uh, as, as law enforcement so we have to have their backs. Yeah, it's, when you lose someone like that, you, you need to have a support group. And that's what these places are. Then they will come and they will help you. And they have retreats and they have all sorts of resources to help you get through. Because it's tough when, when somebody goes down in the, in the line of duty and the families are left. And even the co-workers, it's hard for them to survive too. It's, it's tough. It hits everybody. What an emotional and memorable evening as we honored our local heroes who have made the ultimate sacrifice. Through this gala, with the help from the community, we are able to help survivors rebuild their shattered lives. Thank you so much for your support. You are the pieces that are, are making us heal and making us feel like there was a purpose in all of the tragedy. So thank you so much. I just want to thank everyone who was in attendance tonight, who um, helped me make this happen, and who believed in us to have this happen and believe in our mission of our organization. Um, my prayer is that this isn't the first and last one, that this one continues beyond that. So thank you, everybody. All right, that's a wrap after an incredible evening from the Cops Blue Hope Gala. For Good Life Tampa Bay, I'm H. John Mejia. Hey, please lend your support. For more information, go to their website at westcentralflcops.org. That's westcentralflcops.org. And check out their Facebook page, at WCF Cops. That's at WCF Cops. Or call Stephanie Barnes at 727-244-1078. That's 727-244-1078.